Like many, I was excited about Grace. The show promised suspense. It promised intriguing characters. Based on Peter James's best-selling novels, it had a strong foundation. The setting, Brighton, added to the appeal. A seaside town with secrets, it was the perfect backdrop for a gritty crime drama. I eagerly awaited a fresh take on the genre. Could Grace deliver on its potential? The first three series of Grace left me wanting more. Each episode seemed to promise excitement and intrigue, but the delivery often fell short. The plots felt predictable, often relying on familiar tropes. It was as if the writers were afraid to take risks, sticking to a formula that felt tired and overused. The characters, though promising on paper, lacked depth. They seemed to be mere shadows of what they could have been, with backstories that were either underdeveloped or completely ignored. I found it hard to connect with them. Their motivations were unclear, and their actions often felt forced, making it difficult to invest emotionally in their journeys. The dialogue often felt clunky and expositional, conversations that should have been natural and engaging, instead came across as stilted and awkward, breaking the immersion. It lacked the spark and wit I crave in a crime drama. The tension that should have kept me on the edge of my seat was missing, replaced by a sense of going through the motions. While the show had its moments, it ultimately failed to live up to its potential. There were glimpses of brilliance, scenes that hinted at what could have been a gripping series, but they were too few and far between. In comparison to other crime dramas that have set the bar high with their intricate plots and well-developed characters, Grace felt like a missed opportunity. It had all the ingredients for success, but somehow failed to mix them together effectively. The fan reactions were mixed, with some holding out hope for improvement in future seasons, while others expressed their disappointment more vocally. The potential for greatness was there, but it remained unrealized. Perhaps with a more daring approach to storytelling and a deeper exploration of its characters, Grace could have been a standout in the genre. As it stands, it serves as a reminder of the fine line between mediocrity and excellence in television. Series 4 throws us straight into another case. This time, a stagnite gone wrong leads Grace and his team on a twisted chase. We see familiar faces, the dependable Branson, the ever so slightly annoying Glenn. The plot twists and turns, taking us through Brighton's underbelly. There are moments of genuine suspense. Sadly, the predictable ending leaves you with a sense of deja vu. John Sim, as DS Roy Grace, tries his best. He portrays a man haunted by his past, desperate to find his missing wife. Yet, the writing lets him down. Grace comes across as brooding and intense, but lacks emotional depth. We see glimpses of his pain, but they feel superficial. He remains an enigma, difficult to truly empathize with. Compared to other successful police procedurals, Grace falls short. Think of Line of Duty with its intricate plots and morally ambiguous characters, or Broadchurch, which skillfully combines crime with emotional depth. These shows keep you guessing until the very end. They offer complex characters you can root for, even when they make questionable choices. Grace, unfortunately, lacks this complexity. The Brighton, they don't show a missed opportunity. Brighton, with its vibrant culture and dark undercurrents, could be a character in itself. The street performers, the eclectic street art and the vibrant nightlife all paint a picture of a city teeming with life and stories waiting to be told. Local cafes buzz with conversations, each one a potential plotline, each face a potential character. Yet, 
the show only scratches the surface. The skyline and cityscape are shown, but they are mere glimpses, fleeting moments that fail to capture the essence of Brighton. Iconic landmarks are presented, but they lack the depth and context that make them truly significant. We see glimpses of the pier, the lanes and the beach. The sunset over the pier is breathtaking. The narrow lanes are charming and the pebbled beach is iconic. But these scenes are just that, scenes. They are not woven into the fabric of the narrative in a meaningful way. But they feel more like backdrops than integral parts of the story. The background scenery, the bustling streets and the popular tourist spots are all there. But they serve as mere settings rather than active elements that drive the plot forward. The landscape is beautiful, but it remains unexplored. The show misses an opportunity to explore the city's soul, its hidden corners, and the people who make it so unique. The hidden alleyways, the local markets, and the residential areas are teeming with untold stories. Street interviews could reveal the diverse voices and perspectives that make Brighton so special. The residential areas, often overlooked, hold the true essence of the city's character. By delving deeper into these aspects, the show could have painted a richer, more nuanced portrait of Brighton, one that goes beyond the surface and captures the heart and soul of this vibrant city. A glimmer of hope. Potential paths for grace. The journey of grace is one filled with possibilities, each path offering a unique direction for the character and the show. As we explore these potential paths, we can see how grace can evolve and grow, bringing new dimensions to the story. Despite its flaws, grace has potential. The show has laid a solid foundation, but there is room for improvement. By addressing some of the existing issues, the creators can unlock the true potential of Grace, making it a standout series. The show could benefit from tighter writing, with more focus on character development. By honing in on the intricacies of each character, the writers can create a more engaging and compelling narrative. This would not only enhance the main storyline, but also provide a richer viewing experience for the audience. Exploring Grace's inner turmoil, his relationships and his past could make him more relatable. Delving into his backstory and the events that shaped him can add depth to his character, making viewers more invested in his journey. This exploration can reveal hidden layers and motivations making Grace a more complex and intriguing protagonist. Delving deeper into the lives of the supporting characters would add layers to the narrative. Each supporting character has their own story to tell, and by giving them more screen time and development, the show can create a more interconnected and dynamic world. This approach can also provide new subplots and conflicts, enriching the overall storyline and let's not forget Brighton. Showcasing its true character could elevate the show significantly. The city itself can become a character, with its unique charm and vibrant atmosphere adding to the show's appeal. By highlighting the beauty and diversity of Brighton, the show can create a stronger sense of place and authenticity, drawing viewers into its world. The Verdict is Grace worth your time? If you're looking for a light, easy-to-watch crime drama, Grace might entertain you for a few evenings. However, if you're seeking something thought-provoking, with compelling characters and intricate plots, you might be disappointed. The show feels like a missed opportunity. It had all the ingredients for success but failed to combine them into a satisfying dish. Looking ahead, what could the future hold? Will there be a Series 5? It remains to be seen. If the show returns, I hope the creators take the criticisms to heart. 
With some adjustments, Grace could still find